Alright, so we have some more Pokemon Sword and Shield news. They just released a new trailer and I think it's good timing because recently the Pokemon fan base has been like fighting. Um, they got divided into two sides. One side of the Pokemon fan base is saying um, pretty much mad because Game Freak isn't gonna bring back the national Pokedex and Masuda pretty much confirmed that there is gonna be no national Pokedex. So these guys over here are pretty much saying fire Masuda, hashtag fire Masuda, get rid of him. We need new a new director at Game Freak because he's making all the wrong decisions going against the fan base pretty much. And then this side is saying respect Masuda, you know. Masuda gave us a lot of good memories. Don't be mad at him. He probably has his reasons. Um, you guys are overreacting over here. So just chill, get over it, whatever. So it's two sides. Hashtag fire Masuda, hashtag respect Masuda. I'm not gonna get involved. You know, you guys could <laughs> say whatever you want, man. Like, you guys, you guys have the right to an opinion, you know. That's fine, you know. Say what you want, but just, I don't know, don't exaggerate or try not to be too aggressive. I guess it's what I'm saying, you know, don't be, don't be like that, you know, because it's not good for the community as a whole, you know, it's kind of toxic if you take it too far, if you take it too far, it's like just toxic and Pokemon is known for bringing people together, not separating them, keep that in mind. But anyway, the new news, they just got released, new trailer, they just announced a new form, not Dynamaxing, Dynamaxing was when the Pokemon got huge, now there is a Gigantamaxing, which pretty much is the Pokemon become huge, but they change their appearance. Now where have we seen this before? Mega Evolution. So it's kind of weird, like I don't know why they announced that, like it's kind of like when I heard the news I was like, like what the heck, like that's cool. Oh, but what the heck like well, where did that come from you know like it just came out of nowhere so mega evolution is like your pokemon like charizard you mega evolve him he becomes like a different type like that uh you know fire and dragon instead of fire flying you know his skills change a little bit or whatever you know mega evolution is cool you know like i had no problem with that but gigantamax scene is pretty much dynamax scene and changing the form and they're not calling it mega evolution they're just calling it gigantamax scene the reaction from the community has been kind of like in the middle some people are like you know kind of like confused like me and other people are like you know that's cool but i guess the thing that i'm kind of thinking about is like so popular pokemon like charizard and pikachu like charizard already has two mega evolutions charizard x and charizard y so is charizard gonna get a new form a new gigantamax form so does that mean the charizard is gonna have like four different forms that seems like a little too much for me like i would think like it's just kind of weird like i could just imagine like bobopedia like going on google bobopedia and having like charizard charizard x charizard Charizard Y, Charizard, you know, uh, Gigantamaxing. And then if you have like a Lowland Pokemon, you're gonna have, you know, like freaking, what do you have, uh, a Lowland? You know, like, let's pretend that there were, I can't think of a good example, but let's pretend there was like an, a Lowland Charizard, you know, like, I don't know which Pokemon fits all the categories. All right, I can't think of a Pokemon that fits all the categories, but let's say that Charizard had a, a Lowland form. He doesn't, but let's say he did. So on Bobopedia, it could be like Charizard regular, then a Lowland Charizard, Charizard X, Y, Gigantamax Charizard. You know, that'd be like too many different forms. There's gotta be one Pokemon that fits all those categories, but I can't think of one right now. Anyway, um, I think it's kind of weird. Like, it just kind of threw me off. Like, I'm not, I'm not really against it, but I'm not really for it either. Like, I'm kind of, I think I'm more against it than for it. Like, I think it would be completely cool gigantamax I, I would be totally okay with it if the gigantic maxing was mega evolution plus dynamax equals gigantamax that would be completely fine you're combining both types so for charizard since i'm using him as an example when he gets gigantamax i would be pretty happy if he when he got big and he was either like a big charizard y or a big charizard x that would be cool you know that that would be completely cool, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen. I think Gigantamax is just gonna be a completely new form and we're gonna have like a completely new Charizard design. That's what I think it's gonna happen, which is a little too much. Like I understand Game Freak is trying to like, you know, come up with the new ideas, but that's, uh, I think it's a little too much. I mean, Pokemon is already like good as it is. They just gotta put the old features in the new games, you know, like maybe different regions, you Pokemon following you around. Like I think those features that made the Pokemon games like really, really cool. I think just incorporating those features into like newer games like would be good enough, not like these 
weird, crazy ideas. There's a Pokemon YouTuber, his name is Jay Witz. He made a video where he said like, what he would like to see in the Pokemon games. That's a really good video. Like he brought up like, you know, the ideas like a Pokemon following you around, like bringing those into the new games will be like, that will make like a perfect Pokemon game. Another thing that Jay Witz mentioned in his video is that like, when we start a new Pokemon game, like Sword and Shield, whatever, if you have an option saying like, I'm a veteran or I'm a beginner. If you say I'm a beginner, then you know, they give you the tutorials, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And if you're a veteran, they pretty much start you off in hard mode and you just go on tutorials. The Pokemon battles are difficult, more difficult trainers are difficult, you know, um, just for us to like, you know, satisfy us because recently the Pokemon games have been too easy and we want something harder you know we like we wanted like the original pokemon games to be difficult so so anyway i'll link that video in the description like he brought up a lot of good points but yeah this gigantamax is too out there for me it's all right but it's just like a little bit too out there and they also announced like a new move called like the g max move or whatever like they did like a new powerful move again that's kind of like a z move you know z moves were introduced a couple generations ago and like i don't know why are they bringing all this new stuff you know like gigantamax new form we already have that mega evolution the new g max form well, we have something similar, you know, Z moves, like, why are you guys, like, making all this new stuff up when we already have it, you know, like, just call it the Dynamaxing Mega Evolution. That's cool. The Dynamax Z move. That's cool. <laughs> if they do that, but just calling it a new name, you know, I'd be cool with that. If it's, if it's, um, Dynamax plus Z move is called G Max, that's cool. Dynamax plus Mega Evolution is called Gigantamax, that's cool. But if it's a whole new thing, okay, that's a little too much. Those are what my thoughts are like. I'm kind of, I'm kind of iffy on it, you know. Um, but I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on it? Like, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't really decide on it. But I think the game is gonna be good overall. You know, from what I see in the trailer, they are making it like, like the NPCs are like more interactive. Like, that's really cool. Like, I think that's really cool. And yeah, I mean, I can't wait to play that game. And I know a lot of people will, are not really happy with it right now because of the whole national decks thing. That's fine. If you're not happy with it, like that's fine like you you can have your opinion i said like it's fine to have your own opinion and if you're really really angry with game freak about that you know you don't have to buy the game but it's cool whatever it's cool so anyway um before i let you guys go um i was listening to this one song a couple of years ago and i kind of i kind of want to mention it just kind of like a little fun fact i guess and i don't know if you guys are gonna have the same opinion as me i really want to know so when you check it out the song when you check out the song like let me know come back and let me know if i am right about this or like if it's just me you know because i really want to know because i think it might be just me but i don't know it just it just kind of gives me like this vibe you know so anyway the song okay so i was listening to the song by jason Mraz, and i'm not gonna play it because you know copyright <laughs> i ain't about to get copyrighted guys but anyway so the song is frank d fixer i'll put the text right here so jason Mraz, frank d fixer so what's so special about this song? Well, I listened to it the first time and after I listened to it, I'm like, I've never heard this song before, but there's something very, very, very familiar about it, you know? And I really liked it because like, it just gave me like this familiar type of vibe, like kind of brought me back to my childhood. But I'm like, this is a new song. It's not an old song. Um, The, the song came out like five years ago, so it's... So it's kind of old, but I'm talking about like, it gave me like a nostalgic feeling from like when I was a kid. So the song wasn't out then, you know, like Jason Mraz wasn't even like a thing back then. So, so I'm like, why is it giving me a nostalgic feeling? You know, I've never heard the song before and I really like it, but it's giving me this feeling. Well, I finally figured out it has like the chorus, when you listen to the chorus, it sounds vaguely familiar and has like a similar vibe tune, has a similar tune to the Pokemon English theme song of the Johto region. It'll be Pokemon English opening number three, which is the Johto region. The opening one is Kanto, the second is Orange Islands, the third one is the Johto Journeys. So Pokemon English opening number three. So I went to go listen to that song because I'm like, wait, is it this song? And I listened to the Pokemon song, Pokemon opening three, Johto Journeys. And I'm like, all right, it, it, yeah, they sound very similar. Like I thought they sounded really similar. And I'm like, wait, they do sound similar. Like um, the Jason Mraz one is a little bit slower. And then the Johto Journeys one is a little bit faster, but they do have like a similar sounding beat vibe, whatever, like the chorus, like only the chorus in both songs. So listen to the chorus of Jason Mraz as Frankie Fixer and the chorus of Pokemon English opening number three, The Jordan Journeys. I don't know if it's just me, but if you guys want, you know, go listen to both songs. 
and let me know come back drop a comment let me know do they sound similar or is it just me i really want to know because i feel like it might be just me but i don't know but anyway i think the jordan journey's opening was amazing and also like this one but whatever you know go check it out whatever so anyway um thanks for watching you know thanks for listening to me for like however long uh, i appreciate it and if you made it to the end of the video, consider subscribing, you know, check out my channel. I like to talk about Pokemon. I love Pokemon, guys. You know, I have like these plushies right here. I have this little Eevee with the chopper hat. What? Well, anyway, drop a comment, check out the songs, and also check out Jay Witz's video. You know, it's a good video. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.